let's go. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going to the MCG for a tour and going to the Australian Sport Museum. It is a beautiful top of 24 today and I'm wearing this beautiful pink dress today and some sneakers. So the plan of today is we're gonna be driving there and I think we're going to the museum first, then we are going to go for the tour. I'm so excited to go, I'm, In 300 meters, I'm so excited and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me to experience the fun. So let's go have fun. Guys, we made it to the MCG guys and we are going to be going in there and I am so, so excited. Guys, can you believe it? This is incredible that we are here. Wow, guys. This is incredible. This is the MCG of the inside. <laughs> this is incredible. This is incredible, guys. Wow. This, this is beautiful. Guys, I cannot believe we are here at the MCG Stadium. Never in my life would I ever picture being here. Guys, you actually are on the ground. Oh. Guys, I cannot believe this. this is exciting. We are actually here where the actual people play. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. This is incredible. Yeah, a lot of Melbourne fans would be like, oh my gosh! Wow, guys, this is where... Wow, this is like where they play, the players get off. And the bus stands here. Wow. Guys, we're in Carlton's area. So is this cold baths or hot? Yeah, these are ice baths. These were all upgraded a few years ago. They're all temperature controlled now. Wow. Um, players. And round the corner here, you've got your toilets and the showers. Wow. Well, I'll be damned. Yeah, Yo, wow! Where the coach can sit and you can come in. Uh -huh. Wow. And the other change room's the other side of that wall, um, but they, the coach can sit and have. Yeah, well, we played like absolute hell, you can say. The team was better on the. On the... So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, what do you think? Yeah. You know, 22 weeks a year, or, oh, what can you say? <laughs> 
better be tight-lipped. The tight umpiring lipped. was poor. Yeah, and all better be tight-lipped because if I say something, I might get a bit fine. <laughs> you know, and um, yeah, but I, I'll get Gazy to sit there and put on bounce for us so he can, yeah. um, you know, cut the crap. Yeah. Cut. This is where Shane Warne would have trained. How cool is that, guys? This is known as the Phil Laurie Cricket Centre. Victoria over the Beautiful day today. Um, I said it's a very beautiful yeah, day today. It is. It's been pretty cold here the last few weeks, but it's nice. Oh today. really? Those stairs go down to the change rooms for the players. Watch the step here. Wow. How's this? Wow. How? During the crickets. Guys, so far this is absolutely incredible. We've learned so much and hopefully you guys are learning with me. I like Riley. What do you think of it so far? I think it's awesome. Why do you think it's awesome? It is awesome. Why? Yeah, I'm just walking. Now we can see it from here, um, looking through the goal post, it's 173 metres fence to fence in this direction and it's 148 metres fence to fence across the ground. The Olympic Games were held here and Charles Dumas of the States won the Olympic Games, I was here that day, um, and that's the height he jumped. But if you look at from where that line is there, the red or the long jump is here, they're going to be two meters. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. So that's... So you tell me that's one step, two step, three steps. Yeah. Oh, hop, step and jump. I mentioned the... The club moved to this side in 1853 um, and this poster here shows the development of the ground over the various years as it was redeveloped up to what it is today. Very nice. Wow. How slinky is this? There it is. Go on. Wow. We're on the third level of the members' pavilion now. In here is the Melbourne Cricket Club Library. It's a reference library, not a leaning library. Um, 
Melbourne Cricket Club members can use the facility any time it's open. Members of the public can also use the facility if they need to make an appointment. There's an enormous amount of information in there purely related to sport. So we're doing some research into some sporting activities. English teams and here they've put in what's known as a shrine to test cricketers um, and so um, there's information here about the best pick cricketers over the years from various uh, countries around the world. The photograph in the middle showing Don Bradman and Sachin Tendulkar right. would be the most photographed from other countries. There's also information on the screen here regarding those um, various cricketers. The only other photo I'll refer to is this one. We'll see a, a proper baggy green, won't we? You can see them down at the museum. Yeah. yeah if you go into the museum yeah. afterwards, yeah. I'll tell you a bit about that. Now, these pictures here are past Australian teams. And I only refer to this one. This photo shows the first group of Australian players to go and play cricket in England. It was not an official tour, but these blokes went to England in 1878. They played 47 games, won 14 and lost 14, and the rest were drawn. But this was an all Aboriginal team and they were the first, excuse me, first group of Australians to go and play cricket in England, as I say, in 1878. So which year was like Victor Trumper and all those? Oh, he was in the early 1900s. Yes, too many. <laughs> That's room where the scoreboard operators sit. Scoreboard is seven even. Wow. Seagull broadcasting room in there. This is incredible. So different compared to. I've got to dress down, you guys. Ooh. Now, in here, this room is known as the long room. These six paintings here are past secretaries of the club. The one on the top left is Ian Johnson, when he was secretary. We are now entering the Australian um, Sports Museum. We just finished the tour. It was amazing, 100% worth going to. And now we are going to show you what is in the museum here. Which Aussie Olympian are you? Winter Warrior, Summer Sensation. I would say Summer, so we can hit the. I'm going to use my little band and hit. Ooh, it's a 50-50. That's cool. Here are some more Olympic stuff. Look how incredible this is, guys. Swimming team. Look at the medals. Medals of bowling. The Paralympics. Here's some more 
Oh look, that's a Port Power jersey. Guernsey. Why don't I say jersey? Guernsey. There's so many Olympic stuff, guys. And look, there's even more, guys. There's even more. Is this anything? Sport Australia. Whoa! I do not know very many of these, so. Oh, da, 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 da. this is incredible, guys, honestly. So, Chloe, these are like people who. What? Here are, if you guys are Melbourne fans, here is a bunch of memorabilia from Melbourne. Oh wow, this is crazy. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Guys, these are people who have actually performed. Michael Jackson, Paul McCartney, The Three, Tenors, I've heard of them before. The Rolling Stones and Madonna. That's actual amazing. So guys, so far we have been past the Olympic and we are almost finished with the cricket and there's a bunch more places to see. So, stay tuned. This is the AFL area, guys. Honestly amazing. Australian football, it's like soccer. Is that like soccer? There's more amazing stuff over here, guys. This is like soccer. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Footy! Hunting the footy section, guys. Sounds like a good time today. Apparently, love is a wood. Fine. Oz kick. Wow, guys. I have absolutely no idea what all of this stuff is. Oh, that's like that old game. Oh, this is women's football. Yeah. AFLW. Love that. That's awesome. Oh, go Colin. That's awesome. Oh gosh, guys, look at this. And look at all those trophies, guys. 
We are going to go into the AFL Hall of Fame. AFL. We'll show you Football Hall of Fame. Wow, guys, look at all of these. Hi, guys. This is a bit different. I'm it's currently like very late, like <clears throat> very late, and I just wanted to do an outro for my video and just to say thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys' support, you guys being there for me, and thank you guys for almost 80 subscribers. You guys are honestly so awesome, and I couldn't thank you enough for being being there for me supporting me and my family and just joining me on this Melbourne trip. So don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and tap the notification bell so you do not miss any videos like mine. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.